game of the 1979-80 season at the Montreal Forum is about to get underway. It is Anderson on with Sharpley and McCarthy for Minnesota. Mondu at center along with Shutt and Napier for Montreal. And the North Stars cleared into Canadian territory. It's whipped along the boards by Robinson. Down the ice it goes. Back for it goes Giles. Skating from the other side as Napier McCarthy gets it on the left side. He is bumped by shutdown. It's back to Mondu. And Mondu is upended by Hartsburg. A ring wide pass on the right side. Anderson snapped that shot into the corner. Robinson takes a look and from the front of his net he digs out over the line. Gives it to Napier who cleared it into the far corner. Now the Canadians are making changes while the play goes on. On the right side. Here's McAdam rubbed out of the play by Ganey. It's into the centerized area. Maxwell has it over on the other side for Giles. He shoots it in and Langway cleared it to the other side. Smith for Minnesota to McAdam. Jarvis getting it ahead. Knocked down to Chartra. The check delivered by Captain Spear. They tussled him behind the net looking for the puck. It goes to Kristoff. He ties the center. Now the Canadians are going to break out. They go to the center ice area. Ganey is over the line. Gives it to Jarvis to Ganey. And a roll wide. They fight for it down the board. A solid body check by Maxwell on Jarvis. Smith locking it into the center ice area with that head fake goes to the right side. Over the line, fired! And Heron kicked it out. Here's a body check by Langway on Zanussi. Canadians with Gady. Gady starting out, gets it to the other side to Langway. There's a dearth of whistles as we start this hockey game. Now, Maxwell up on the right side to Zanussi. A good pass that goes to Eve. Eve digging in on the right side. Here's Eve. Around the net, chasing it against Gingra. Gingra goes down. Lambert is knocked into the boards by Zanussi. They might get a whistle here. For the Montreal Canadiens, Jarvis, Robinson, Ganey, and Langway. No score in the hockey game from the faceoff. That one just whizzed by the corner. Now it's Young keeping it in. Young takes a look. Still at the line. Over on the other side, McCarthy right in front, and the shot is wide by Eves. At the line, it's cleared out over the line. He went off Young. Now back at the line is Maxwell. Over on the other side, E. Young back up on that left side to Maxwell. He cleared it in there, bursting in as Eves going in against Langway. Robinson tipped it to the line, not out. Maxwell over on the other side. Here's McCarthy, twisting and turning. McCarthy takes the look out in front, it comes and it's knocked away by Heron. Pressure here by Minnesota. Along the board, Robinson gets it, fails to clear it out, and it bounces by Maxwell. A minute and seven seconds remaining in the penalty to Mondu. Robinson belted Kristoff. Now the Canadians slice it off the board. Jarvis shooting it down the ice, and Montreal making changes. Captain Savard is on. The Minnesotans starting out on the right side. McAdam dropped it back to Hartsburg up on the left side to Payne. Payne over the line. There's the shot. It went off Engblom right into Heron. Gary, the North Stars have not been in this kind of a situation before. Game seven, neither has Denny Heron. But this young Minnesota team does not show any signs of being awed by the situation or nervous. Well, this morning at practice, it's amazing how they keep their composure and their cool. Here's the start of a power play and shot, which Heron was able to hang on to. But you know, perhaps they don't realize what they have a chance of doing. You know, they're they're still numb by the whole situation, but, uh, you know, I'm sure they're they're not going to worry about mistakes. Uh, they're just going to go out there and skate as hard as they can, and it's amazing how hard work will overcome uh, thinking about making mistakes. Yeah, Lucky Jarvis set to take over at center. Savard has just come back off the bench, taking over on defense for Langway. So 44 seconds, the time remaining in the penalty. The North Stars, everybody up. Where is it, says McAdam. He couldn't come up with it. And Ganey slapping it into the center ice area. There's Payne coming back. Bombier is on the ice for Montreal. There's an offside over on the far side of the number 15, Smith. Well, there is Steve Payne, sophomore year, 42 goals. 
big man in the early stages of this series. Of course, all the North Stars went into a bit of a dip when the games went back to Minnesota, games three and four. But he's just a perfect example of the confidence that this hockey team has with the youngsters on it. 33 seconds left in Mondu's penalty. It is Smith at center, McAdam on one wing, Payne on the other, Hartford and Giles are on the points. They have excellent shots from the point. Robinson lugging it, clears it on the left side, and it's knocked into Minnesota territory by Ool. Four checking is Savard. Savard is up front, along with Ool. Robinson on defense with Langway. A splendid move there by Smith. Smith is in over the line. Here's Smith losing it. Langway going after it against McAdam. Now here's Hartford shooting it. The shot was low and missed the far side. The penalty has expired. Langway desperately trying to get it out. He gets it to Mondu on this side to Savard. Savard going in after Hartford. Now Savard hit the snow by Hartford and the Canadian supporters and the Canadian bench react on that. Montreal with Jingra coming down on that left side. He gets by Hartford. He's coming to make it for the Napier. And shot. And it hit Giles in front of the net. Now Jingra right over to the Napier again. To the other side. And it's out over the line. Here's Robinson. Laying it in off the stick of Shutt who digs in there. To the other side. Payne looks at Napier. Now Shutt getting it back. The North Stars roll it down the ice. The shots on goal are even. Minnesota, three, Montreal, three. That time, Anderson was taken over the play. Robinson leading a four-man Montreal attack. Works well into the center ice area. Flicked it off a stick. Stick was above the shoulder and made contact. They line up for the face-off. At the Minnesota line, 13-17, the time remaining in the opening period. Sharpley, who is outstanding, number seven in that sixth game in Minnesota. He is on with Anderson. The other forward is McCarthy. For Montreal, Langley, Lambert, Trombley, and ooh, ooh, in there! The pass comes from the side of the net. On the boards, bumping. A sturdy gentleman by the name of Long there, Sharply is in there too. A lot of milling about. I doubt if we'll have penalties unless something further takes place. Perfectly timed pass, Gary, right there to the front of the net for Reggie Hull, and a perfectly timed bit of anticipation by Joe Malash, who hung on to the post short side, and Hull couldn't jam it home. Well, you talk about that all the time, Dick, and a lot of goals are scored that way where the winger is able to lose his check and just head for the net, and, uh, and all the winger is trying to do is slide it in front and go for that deflection. The Canadians played that one re really well. Malosh, though, he was he equal to the task and was able to direct that into the corner. But both teams are really hitting again tonight as they carried over from the last game. It is Sharpley against Lambert. Montreal defense playing up back to Ekblom. There's the shot. Off the leg. It rolls in there to Melage. And he covers up. And so this well-played, exciting series dwindles down to that one precious game. And Gary Dornhofer, there's something about a seventh game. It has an appealing aspect. It's the degree of finality, I guess. It's like sudden death, isn't it? Well, there's no question about that. There you see the importance of draws. How it just dribbled to Melage, but... Let's face it, the Canadians are going to put some pressure on tonight. It's will the North Stars be able to keep their cool and their poise in their own zone and not run around? That's that's where that experience factor will come into play. Now it's back to Engblom again. He sweeps it in behind the net. Giles runs into Napier in to help out his shot. Shot gets the move to Mondo, and he ripped it just wide. Oh, that was an outstanding scoring opportunity. Here's Eves trying to penetrate. He can't. Napier side steps to check beautifully. Napier is going in. He gets hit in front of shot by Mondu. And again, he's wide. Back it goes to Anklum. A shot knocked down. And the Canadians have had sparkling scoring opportunities in the last 30 seconds. 12 minutes and 15 seconds. The time left in the first period. There's no score. There's an offside. Defending for Minnesota. Young hands. Holy. Giles and Hartsburg. No score in the hockey game. 
Montreal moving back to get their power play into what they hope will be effective operation. They have to contend with some forward checking here. There's a left wing pass and shot. He cleared it to the corner. Napier speeds in there. Giles plays it into the board. He is bumped in the mix up. It comes back. Here's the board shooting it. And it's off a stick over the glass. Giles and Mondu had a bit of a shoving session. Game five was played in this building last Tuesday night. LaPointe, I think, still had a cast on his ankle. He was hobbling around. He has had just a dreadful year in terms of injuries, illness, what have you. He has been almost a forgotten man in the Canadian scheme of things. Gary, not too long ago, he was the first all-star defenseman in this league. Well, you know, as you get older, those injuries are a little harder to shake off, Dick. I know better than anyone. <laughs> a minute and 34 seconds left. There's a shot kicked out by Balazs. In behind the net, shot is going after it. Hartsburg's 